In this video, we'll be speaking with gambling author Linda Boyd about how to find the best paying video poker machines. Linda is a former mathematics instructor and author of the best selling book, The Video Poker Edge. Linda also writes monthly columns about video poker for several gaming magazines. And now, here's Linda Boyd. A lot of people don't understand the difference between a video poker machine and a slot machine. A slot machine is based on luck. So if you're going to play a slot machine, they're lots of fun, especially the new ones, but you better bring a, your lucky horseshoe with you. On the other hand, if your game is video poker, then it's based on skill. So you need to learn how to pay, play correctly and also uh, make sure that you look for the best machines. So we're going to talk a little bit about how you can go into a casino and locate the best machines available for video poker within that casino. If you're comparing a video poker machine with a slot machine in terms of the pay schedule that you can see on the front of, of the glass of each of those devices, it's quite different. With a video poker machine, you can see how much they pay for each of the winning hands. And based on how much they pay for each of those winning hands, along with the fact that each symbol, there are 52 of them with a 52 card deck game, has an equal probability of being selected. On the other hand, if your game is slots, they do not have an equal probability of being selected. So just because you keep coming close, say two instead of three sevens on a slot machine, does not mean you're really close to winning the big jackpot. With video poker, a lot is based on game names because the games are the same if it's the same name with the exception of two things on the pay schedule. Let me give you an example. Jacks are Better is a real popular game in casinos, and it, it's because you get paid double for two pair versus single pay for two pair. But not all games of Jacks or Better are created equal. Even though they have the same name, the pay schedules will differ in terms of full house and the flush, respectively. For example, if your game is 9-6, jacks are better, you get paid nine for each coin bet when you hit a full house, six for each coin bet when you hit a flush. On the other hand, if your game is eight, five, jacks are better, you just get a return of eight coins for each one bet on a full house and five for each coin bet on a uh, flush hand. So you, essentially, you need to look for a pay schedule that gives you the best return or the most coins for the same given hand. Considering 9-6 jacks are better versus 8-5 jacks are better, you may want to think about the ER, which is the expected return. The higher the ER, expected return, the better it is for you, the player. So if you decide you're going to play 9-6 instead of 8-5, for each coin shortfall, it's approximately 1.1% less on your expected return. Let me use the 8.5 versus 9.6 example. There's one coin less for the full house. Instead of nine, you'd get eight back on a full house. And there's one coin shortage on the flush. Instead of six, you would get five back. So. 1 plus 1 is 2, <laughs> so it means 1.1 and 1.1 is approximately 2.2% less. And if you check using your tutorial devices at home, you will see that 9.6 jacks are better if you play it 100% accurately, pays 99.5439%. Uh, On the other hand, you get 2.2% less if you play 8-5. Big difference when you look at the returns on the pay schedule. People often wonder, is there one best video poker game to play? And the answer is, it depends. It depends on you, the player, and it also depends on the pay schedule available in your favorite casino. On the one hand, you can have a high risk called a high volatility game. Lots of action, lots of adrenaline rush there. On the other hand, if you choose a low volatility 
It might be a little like watching paint dry, which you can last a lot longer on your chosen bankroll. Let me give you an example of each. A high volatility game, the highest, is double-double bonus poker. Note, in double-double bonus poker and double bonus poker, another high volatility game, you only get paid even money for two pair, and that is a high frequency hand. On the other hand, if you choose a low volatility game, the best example is probably jacks or better. Jacks or better gives you double your wager whenever you receive two pair. As I said before, it's a frequent hand. And I might add, it may depend on your goals as a player. If your goal is to get a lot of entries into a drawing, for example, and it's based on your play, you would want a low volatility game. You can rack up a lot of points and a lot of drawing entries if you're trying for a coveted prize. On the other hand, many people, myself included, find it boring to sit there and play and not get any high paying bonuses unless you get an infrequent hand of a, a royal flush, which is approximately one in 40,000, or a straight flush, which is also an infrequent hand. And I might add, four of a kind, if you're playing a low volatility game, may only give you a 125 coin return for a five coin bet. On the other hand, double double bonus, if you get four aces and the kicker, you will receive uh, a $500 on a quarter machine payback. So it really depends on what the fun factor is for you and what the goals are as a player. And let me add one other thing. Just because the casino that you have chosen has nine, six jacks or better, a really good game, full pay jacks or better, does not mean all of their games are full pay. So you need to consider what the pay schedule is. If you're choosing double bonus, for example, you want 10-7 double bonus. However, the casino that has 9-6 jacks or better may not have 10-7 double bonus. So you really want to look at the pay schedule and you want to know the expected return. You want the highest expected return possible. You want to make certain that you know what you're doing. You don't want to go into a casino blind. If you go into a casino and you don't know how to play a specific game, then you're better off playing slots than video poker in some cases. Some people wonder if they're an unskilled player, if they have not practiced at home, will it change the payback percentage? Absolutely, it will change the payback percentage because all of the expected returns that you'll see in my table or anybody else's table are based on 100% accurate play. Very few people can do that. If you're unskilled, you will not, over the long run, receive the expected return indicated. And many people will say, oh, these machines are rigged for the holidays. They've got these machines fixed. You can play correctly and have bad luck over one session and not get the ER. If you're unskilled, however, in the long run, you won't get even close to the expected return. You must play mathematically correctly in order to get the expected return. Often people wonder, can I use the same strategy for every single video poker game? And the answer to that one is a resounding no way. Each game has its own strategy. That's why you need to practice up before you go to the casino. The strategy that you use for full pay deuces wild, for example, will be different than the strategy you use for not so ugly deuces wild. Same thing is true for jacks or better versus double double bonus. The strategy is based on the payback for a given winning hand along with the odds of achieving that winning hand. So don't expect to play every video poker game using the same strategy. People often wonder since each strategy is different depending on the game, is there a way to learn how to play mathematically correctly when you're playing video poker? And that's a yes. There are several ways you can do that. Number one, I highly recommend that you take software, or at least practice before you go to the casino, 
used in tutorial software. I recommend Dean Zamzow's Win Poker, which is 100% accurate and it's very user friendly. There are other very accurate software programs that are also good. What I say to beginners is to make certain that it has a tutorial function and it's not just fun with lots of whistles and bells. What if you're going to a casino? What can you do as a player to make sure that you have the best odds available? Number one, I recommend that you take pay schedules with you. You will find a pay schedule on the face or someplace on any video poker device that you find in a casino. You can simply push the C Pays button and it will tell you the pay schedule. However, it will not tell you the expected return. And as a player, you want to know the percentage or the expected return. So make certain you bring cards with you that give the expected return. For example, if you're looking to play jacks or better, you can look at the face of the machine, at the pay schedule that's on that device, and match it with the pay schedules you bring with you, and you will see 96 jacks or better, 99.5439%. If you choose 85, you'll see that percentage and so on. So it's important when you go to the casino that you check the pay schedules before you find a seat and that you select the pay schedule with the highest ER. I will tell you, frequently you'll find side-by-side -side games with different pay schedules. You may see a 9-6 pay schedule right alongside a 9-5 pay schedule. You, of course, will select the 9-6 pay schedule. You may want to know if there's any kind of guarantee that when you go to the casino and you find the best machine in the house, that is the machines with the highest ER expected return, does that mean you're definitely going to go home a winner? Unfortunately, no. Regardless of the casino game, there's always a luck component and sometimes it's just not your day. You need to stay within the predetermined confines of the budget that you've allocated for your gambling venture. When that's gone, it may be a terrific video poker game, but you need to go as well. What's my best advice if I were to give just one tip for video poker players? And that would be, be skilled at the game you select. I would rather play 9-6 jacks or better with a slightly lower ER than full pay deuces wild if I know what I'm doing in 9-6 jacks or better and I don't know what I'm doing in full pay deuces wild. So you do need to have the basics for your selected game if you want to come close to the expected return. If you want to know more about me and my work, I've written a book. It's called The Video Poker Edge. I also write for several gaming publications, including Midwest Gaming and Travel. You can get my book at Amazon.com or through my publishing house, Square One Publishers. I write for several other publications as well.